happy wednesday night live everyone welcome wanda here and katie will be here shortly we'll wait for everyone to come on in and we'll start our i see a peacock <laughs> isn't that a cute name it's a big eye with a peacock feather so cool So, I was a minute late. Sorry about that. Hey, I see seven of you, but I do not have comments. So, I'm, I'm fishing in the deep sea for the live over here on, in our group, which is buried somewhere, right? Because it's not saying I'm on, to me, anyways. <laughs> Let me refresh and see if I come up. This is going to be so cool, I think. I'm not scared. Right? Oh, I found us. Yay. Okay. Come on, Katie. Okay, everybody put out all your good energy to the universe so that we can have a nice, smooth ride with this technology tonight. I don't want no depixelating, no sound loss no none of that happy good stuff right that's what we want and the comments well i know you guys are having a fun time amongst yourselves so <laughs> i still can't see the comments uh, i have us up on the screen but nothing happening man Hmm. I don't see Katie yet either. Do you guys see her? Hi, everyone. So my idea for the I see a peacock tonight is going to be um, obviously some neons and because I'm addicted to my neon gouache. <laughs> um, and then I want to use some mica powder or actually some of the chameleon boardwalks around the eye and then some mica powder mixed with my um builder gel the clear uvd uvd uv led builder gel um, mix a little of that with some um powders and make these eyes really really pop plus it'll give it dimension like an eyeball you know like the rounded eyeball. I have zero comments over here. This is just not cool. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. See, <laughs> we're on the computer, but that's what it does. It gives me no comments. And I have no comments on the camera phone either, so the phone camera. So I'm just blind right now. That's weird looking at me looking at the computer looking at the computer looking at the computer <laughs> looking at the can you see how many times it goes in there that's weird <laughs> okay i'm gonna put it back this way <laughs> it's like a mirror optical illusion where is katie <laughs> at least she gets comments come on girl she was just there we were just talking i'm sure she can't find us so if anybody wants to tag her Let me see if I can pull them up in a conversation if anybody's having trouble finding us. Okay. Lori, I'm in our our little chat there. Spice. Um, do you guys see Kate? Oh, oh wait, I think I found her. Okay. I don't know how to get out of that. Ah, hi. Uh, I Jennifer have... sent me a link. I couldn't find you. I, I know it's crazy, right? I couldn't even find us either for a while. But hopefully, I have no comments. I've tried everything to get them to come up on the computer. Oh, I don't have any either. No. Oh, come on, Facebook. 
<laughs> well, we'll just have to talk amongst ourselves and know that we love you guys. <laughs> and hopefully it'll refresh later. And I apologize for y'all seeing the mess of my face and hair before. Oh, now. Just now. Oh. <laughs> no, no. This is my house face and hair. That's your beautiful face and hair. <laughs> so, Wanda? Yo. The only builder gel I could find that I have is this one. Okay. And, That'll work. And this one. Both, either one. The hard gel is a little harder to work with, but Yushinin's pretty good. It's just not available anywhere. Um, so, if you guys yeah, are so. looking for builder gel, though, I do have some in the store. Those two are great. They're just a little more expensive than mine. So. I thought okay. I brought home some that you gave me, but I, I guess I never so made too. it home. Dang it. With it. I got so yeah, this is weird. Yay, finally. They just popped up. Oh, you have comments? I still don't. It's a Connie says, What do you think most of us look like, Katie? Because we we're talking about what you look like. Uh, <laughs> Connie, go girl. We all we all sport in that that nice home look <laughs> that we've been inside for four years with COVID look, right? <laughs> COVID made me lazy, you know, not having it, but just not being able to go nowhere and do anything. So now I just don't care. <laughs> All right. Why not having comments? I'm sorry. I don't either. It's terrible. <laughs> so let's see who's on here. I see. Hey, Lori and Jen, thank you guys so much. I see. Well, Connie, we know. And oh, no, now I can't scroll up in my comments. Okay, well, <laughs> I can see them as they're coming in, but they're not allowing me to go backwards. So, hello, welcome everyone. We're going to start painting and quit chatting here. I mean, we'll be chatting, but you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm chatty Katie. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Happy after Valentine's Day. Yes. The day and after. Yes. <laughs> Did anyone score some Valentine's candy? Day? Oh, did you guys get some good Valentine's candy? It's all on sale today, so if you didn't, go get it. <laughs> I went to Walmart to get other stuff, and I looked, and there was none. <gasps> really? Dollar Tree has the spoons, the chocolate spoons. <laughs> Half price really? today. My, our Dollar Tree did. Half price. Wow. I was like, what? <laughs> you know I got three boxes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, one for me, one for me, and one for me. <laughs> I'm so bad. What are you going <laughs> to use them for, though? I'm just eating them. They're good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's not even using them in a drink. <laughs> no, you can put them in coffee. You don't drink hot coffee, but yeah. At least 40% of the world drinks hot coffee. I used so. to drink hot coffee <laughs> until I got in my 40s, and I feel like I'm going to etern <laughs> internally combust after I drink a cup. I know, it's crazy, right? Mm. Yeah, I still can't deal without at least a half a cup. I don't have a lot of coffee anymore, just a little bit. A couple sips just to get the engine going. Then I'm using just a bit of the Apple Barrel mm -hmm. um, Black. And I'm going to paint my 
my eye black so that I can do something in a minute. You know, before I came on, I almost messaged you and told you, I don't feel like doing this. I don't want to go live tonight. No. Um, but really? then when I get on, um, it's like, oh, I'm glad I did. I'm so glad you did. Well, I did talk to you right before. I hadn't didn't even get that from you, not even a hint. Oh, well, because I had already decided I wasn't going to do that to you. Oh. But now that I'm here, I'm like, hello. Hey, fun, cool. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Why is my eyeball? That I'm going to have to fix that. There we go. Now, I'm following your lead on this here situation oh. you got going on. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Well, this is because I'm going to be using chameleons and a little bit of the um, siren song, the cop uh, olivey color for the eyeball. And I'm probably going to bring some brown in there. See the eyeball there? So I'll show you these colors that I have picked out here. And then we're going to work. I need to get some brown in there too up here. And I'm going to do some striations. So, and I'm just going to not even worry about where they're at. I'm just going to put them in there all because we're going to put the pupil on later after it's dry. Right on. Brown girl, brown. Where'd you, where'd you put that brown? I guess this one could, this will be good, huh? Beautiful. Okay. That's a good color, look. Oh yeah. I could do that for both. <laughs> this is called heterochromia, by the way. It's a, a, a disorder, but it's a cool one. I, I don't think it affects people negatively, most people. Actually, people are very attracted to different colors of eyes. Hector has a minor amount of it in his eyes, but it's pretty um, uniform. Like, it's two colors, but it goes around the iris, and then the outer edge of the eye is a different color. Around his iris is like this light green color, and then he has like a caramel color eye and then a dark brown ring. It's insane. Mm. But you, you can only see it if you, like, get right up in his face, <laughs> which I have the pleasure of doing every once in a while <laughs> I've been in his breathing space a couple times <laughs> okay so I'm going to take um, a liner brush of some sort fine liner very pointy one and Activate your watercolors. Don't be like me and forget all the time. But give them a spritz or wet them with a brush or uh, use a, a, what are those good, pipette, <laughs> you know, and make sure that they are ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to start with this coppery golden brown. And these three are from the Boardwalk Chameleons. And I'm just going to start pulling some fine lines. Through I'm actually going to put a little dot of white. Is it this one? Yep, if I can find it, I'm going to put a little dot of white out here to play with also so that we can pull some white through there every once in a while.
okay before it dries i'm going to grab just a little bit of white which white are you using oh i'm sorry deco art okay snow white i believe or no america yeah americana uh, titanium snow white thank you mm -hmm. and not a lot just go you know a couple of little and you have to bring them all the way up just a little bit I'm going to fold this picture and put it in the frame somewhere so we can all see what I'm looking at here. Okay. Now I'm going to go <clears throat> with the blue. Whoops. And I'm gonna pull that right on top of the copper kind of while it's still wet in and out. And I'm doing the blue thicker cause it's kind of like, see how thick it is over here, thick and light. So I wanna get that blue color on the black nice and covered but don't go into your white so actually i'm going to pull this in this direction and if you get too much of your black covered we can always you know pull more black through it in a minute Take some of that water off there. Too much. Okay, some of the olive -y color on this other side. And then start blending them together where they can at the conjunction of the <laughs> at the juncture of each color what's the word there now which one is the olive is that from siren song siren song there's i think there's one like that in the boardwalk i just don't have the whole set next to me but oops i just mixed my blue in the olive not a bad thing but Oops, it did it again. Darn it. Okay, I'm just taking some of the blue and pulling it over the copper and a few over the olive. Okay, I'm going to grab some of the white. I'm just going to be going back and forth with this, you know, how we do. This is really overworked right now. Okay. 
So I'm dragging the blue through the white bursts here to lighten that the blue. Let that dry over there. Don't worry about what the middle looks like because when you put that pupil on there, this is going to look amazing. Okay, the green, if you have it. Just a little bit here and there. That's too much, but. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so cool. This eye is good. Good. I know it looks like a hot mess right now. Don't worry. Okay, so around the eye, around the outer pupil, we're going to mix a little bit of the black acrylic and a little bit of the copper together to get like a darker copper. Just don't put your acrylic in your watercolor because you'll ruin your watercolor. So kind of mix them off on the side. Let me show you what the color is about. Can you see that? It's like a black with a coppery highlight. So we're just going to take that color with our liner brush. And re redo the outer ring So now you have that dark ring around the out part of the eye. I think you're off camera, hon. Me? Yeah. Just a little bit. Let me fix this. Then. There you are. Because I can't work that high up. I know. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm drying the middle. I'm going to grab a dotting tool. I'm going to start small with the people because I always go too big and end up looking like a crazy dead person alien or something but so I think it's probably this side I'm going to go with this one I'm using the purple dotting rod if you guys have the rods some of them uh, are clear but most of the ones that are colored are the same size okay I'm going to go straight down For the people. And then while it's wet, but you want to do just very, very few of these, grab very thin, a few black You don't really want to disturb the ring on the pupil. It's more giving the black. So 
striations. And you can redot your pupil if you need to. And then take a little bit of the black and then like where your white kind of connects to the colors, come in there with a little bit of the black. So you're going to do a little shadow in there. It's probably best if you water this black down a bit. You don't want a whole lot of it. So like right in here. I'm going to put some to, to break up this copper over here. I'm actually going to grab a little white. I think I'm liking it. What do you think? Yeah. I'm just not there yet. Okay. Clean off your tools so that they don't get the acrylic dried in them. I know when you're working with watercolor and acrylic, it's easy to forget to clean the acrylic part of your tools um, because we don't have to worry about that with watercolor. So I'm just reminding you because I'm over here talking to myself saying, clean your tools, clean your tools. <laughs> I don't want to lose tools. <laughs> so if you hear me talking to myself, that's why. All right, there's also a shadow in the eyeball part of the eye. The eyeball is very rarely white. It's like usually a gray color. See all this dark blue in here? So we're going to try to do some of that. I'm not great at that kind of stuff, but I'm going to give it a whirl. That's more Katie's get bag. Maybe we'll wait no. for you. you want to lead us on that part? <laughs> um. Sure. No, it'll take me a minute. It'll take me a minute to get there because I'm still working on my eyeball. You went like super fast. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll, I'll put some more pupil in mine. <laughs> I don't know. I think it needs to be bigger. And went it's off. Super fast. It's off center. <laughs> I've completely lost my computer, even comments. I don't, again, so. Do you have comments? Nope. Yeah. No. Guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, um, shoot. This time it just kicked me off completely off of Facebook. Ho hopefully we're still on. I have no idea. Right. We're just talking to each other, <laughs> watching each other paint. <laughs> if, if you guys are out there, it says 29 people are watching, so I'm hoping we're good. <laughs> Is anybody out there? Oh, I, I see comments. Okay, the last comment I see because I can't go up is Kathy Graham Navarez. It says, thank you, Wanda, for doing the eye. That was very hard, and now it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, they're going fast, the comments. Okay, I'm just making my pupil a little bigger and moving it a little bit to the right because it 
think it was off centered there. We're also going to be using builder gel on this part of the eye after this is done. It'll be the last thing we do um, in building that eyeball up. So it's going to be a, like a glass eye. It's going to look so cool, but not like a glass eye. You know what I mean? <laughs> not like one that's... Anyways, it's going to be glossy. <laughs> Shut up, Wanda. <laughs> you said you used the purple rod? Like this one? Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't know what size though it, your rock is. My rock's big. Oh, that's a good point. Um. Okay, my rock's like four by six. You said you're on a three by three. Yeah. I would go down to the clear. Well, I don't know. What's the next one down? Um, I got a mixed bag of rods over here. I don't have all my rods. Okay, so <laughs> but, but I go, have this go one. down one or two more. Go down. I think that one's this one. Do you have one? Yeah, that might. Does it look good? I mean, in comparison to the picture, can you see the picture here? Does that look about the right size of the pupil? Maybe it might be a little big. Let me. I let me look in my other dotting tools and find okay. one a little smaller than that. Okay. Who doesn't see who dipping brush in the water? Oh, I don't even have, have my water on the screen if you all are talking to me. Sorry. Yeah, I don't have enough room for it all here. But I did rinse between colors. Sorry, I wish I... I wish live was better, you guys. That's just I just wish it was. You want to see my dirty water? See, I dipped. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. Life is hard because you can't, <laughs> I don't know, you have a little bit, well, especially when you're dual streaming, because literally, you guys, we have this tiny space here to work with. Like, see both of my hands together? How far, if you put both your hands together like that, how much space is that? About six or eight inches right that's about the working space we have to stay on in camera so yeah it's hard to you know stay in frame now what did you drag into the middle of the eye a while ago the black is that what you're talking about yeah you dragged some color into it didn't you can you see it I dragged the black from oh, the, the black pupil in. out. Yeah. That's and then a, I re and then I redid the pupil after it dried a little bit to make it a nice hard circle again. Oh Val Valerie, I hear what you're saying. Um, okay. So how much water I'm using is, let me grab my water bowl and see if I can get it in the shot. You know what? I'm going to do this. I have some clean water on the other side of my water bowl. How's that? Okay, so on a liner brush, I dip it about like that. See, there's a drop here. I don't know if you can see it on the other side of my brush. See the drops? So it's really wet. And then that is what I use to stir my watercolor with. So if I'm using the watercolor, it's about that wet. Uh, same thing for the acrylic. Do I have that right here? Um, if I need it to move through the painting really easily, I wet my brush first and then grab some of the acrylic and pull it out and make sure it's nice and smooth almost like watercolor like gouache like a buttery 
texture so that it makes a nice line. And then if I need a thick line, I don't, I take my brush, rinse it, and then dab it on my paper towel and then take it damp, not dripping through the acrylic. And then you get a thicker line. Hopefully that was helpful. Hey, Jennifer, no worries. Oh, Connie, I get it. Yeah, that's a lot going on. Dang. Busy, busy. Okay. Okay, so... Um, on the, the eyeball part, let me grab a better brush. Uh, are you going to be using like a cat's tongue or a, <laughs> so I can grab the right brush? Well, for this side, I was just going to use a regular round brush. Okay, cool. Um, but there's just a slight, tiny tiny hint of blue in there and i'm thinking we can get it with our original color that we used on white cool you just want to get a tiny bit of watered down blue chameleon and then just go in and tint that eyeball so and is that mixed with the white or just on the white this is just straight on the white the blue okay and you're not going to be able to see a huge difference, but it's just enough to give it that tint. I can't get a good view of it, but I but think mine will show. It's definitely tinted. And the the cool thing about the chameleons is they actually have gray undertones, and you need gray undertones on eyeballs. So it's actually a good, good choice. I'm going to take a little bit of black and a little bit of white. There's like up under the eyelid too there. Can you see in the picture here? There's like blue up on the yeah. water line. So I think I'm going to pop that in there right now while I'm working with the blue. And then on this back end of the eye. I'm going to take a little little dab of black and I'm going to go in there with that first then I'm going to take this blue actually it's more of a it's deeper deeper blue it's like a ultramarine or a let me see I went ahead and grabbed some of the um, neon because they were sitting right here and I'm kind of like that. <laughs> I've lightened my, because, um, oh, I decoupage this on in case you guys were wondering. Sorry, I should have said that. This is a decoupage. Um, so on here where it shows the water line here. That's been lightened out of my rock mostly, so I'm going to have to add that back in with my paint. I need 
a needle or brush. I'm used to working with small brushes. Okay, let me show you guys what I'm working with back here. See those neons back there? They're from the Monday Night Live. They're the gouache. I squeezed them on the plate and let them dry. I grabbed the blue. And then you said you use black for that shadow in there? For the very back the part, tip. but then I colored blue over the top of it. Ooh, cool beans. Okay. I know mine's already then, been, but I need to blend it. And then I took in some white, and I started blending up. Well, I did some neon blue, and then I took some white and started blending up into it. And I'll make the white ring. I'll bring the white ring back in in a second. I decided to go small on this rock, so it's taking me a bit longer to do things. But you see how you're starting to get that blended effect? Yeah. Now I'm going to just take straight up white and bring that ring back in. Eyeballs, eyeballs. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is actually a weekly challenge that we have going on in Shelly's group right now, is oh, eyeballs. Cool. And uh, um, this is actually one of the pictures, and a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's, it's so cool and everything. And, you know, of course, it was the one that I was like, oh my gosh, when I, you know, when I... Uh, started looking for eyes for the challenge um and i really wanted to do it and so i was like why not do it live uh-huh now i know <laughs> so we just kind of are doing a little partner up situation I was adding a little bit more blue and I really don't like not being able to see the comments i'm used to talking to people and saying stuff to them and all that sorry dang it sorry. the last comment i'm seeing i think it's Lori showing the link for the the 
crystal brush set. I like giving people a hard time. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna come in with some light blue on that eyelid. I think I'm just gonna mix a little bit of white and neon gouache. Nope, that's not the kind of light of blue I want. I need more white. Yeah, yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. I talk like this too when I'm painting, so. Oh, my comments are not moving at all. Dip into the white. I think I want to go a little bit lighter. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about. This, this is great work, though, for line work. I mean, if you have trouble doing fine line work with a brush, this is, this is awesome for, you know, helping you with that. Because it's a lot of fine line work. Yeah. I'm just using the neon, the purple and the blue, and I took the purple on a damp brush and pulled it back from the crease in the eye this way and then I brought the blue this way and then I wiped off my brush grabbed some water and pulled clear water through it to thin it out just to give it that base and then where they connect here just leave those colors blended because there's like a clear blend going on on there. I know you can't see that. But... So. Delivery! Nutter butter! Oh boy! I get the whole back! Thank you! We must be out of the good stuff. <laughs> or he didn't find the chocolate spoons yet. <laughs> Okay, I have some comments. It says, um, I'll have to watch the replay tomorrow. Good night, everyone. That's Lorraine. Good night, Lorraine. And everyone's saying good night to Lorraine. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just a few. Okay. This is white. I'm just bringing back in that. There's a white shine right here in the eye. Right here. I'm adding that there. And then I'm going to just uh -huh. dip it. Too much water. Um, have the eye shine in white. See the three marks there. Look in this eye. You can see. This eye shine right here. <laughs> I have chocolate, but it's in between cookies. He didn't know I had Milano. <laughs> <laughs> I've hid I hid it in my room. <laughs> I don't want to share that.
I don't think I have any chocolate. Mm hmm. There's a little bit of eye shine back here. <laughs> I have glitter. But I'm going to add back to the eye. Right back here. It's just a few dots. And then there's some dots just randomly around the edges. Now I have to bring this white. which is really blue. <laughs> Makes it so black. Nice, Katie. I love the bright vividness of yours. Oh, yours looks awesome too. Mine looks. I was already looking at yours. And white. <laughs> I wish mine looked a little more like that. No, yours has color in it. Mine's like black and white. <laughs> I like how you did the, the sweep of the eye, though. Oh, the you know shadow ish part. Yeah. I can do that again so because it needs to be I say that it needs to be darker but it's not really that dark on there it's really kind of light let me show you see how light it is yeah so I guess I'm gonna leave it alone before I mess it up <laughs> 
But so now the splashy bits, what do you think? Should we do be intentional with those? It looks like they are kind of it looks like they actually blew it with a straw. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get either the duster <laughs> or a straw over here. But I wanna make pick some colors to see if I can get the right colors going before I start blowing colors everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take some water and put some drops on my palette, which is a, this is a disposable plasticky palette. They're tear-offs. You can get these on Amazon under, what is it, dental, uh, uh <laughs> dental paper or something. Yeah. Anyways, there's a little bit of yellow and orange in that eye here. See up in here. So I'm just going to mix a little of those colors. And then we got some blue. And these are very watered down colors that I'm doing here. And then we've got a marine blue or like that. So I'm more like a I don't even know. Aquamarine or yeah. Royal. Royal. Here. I need some clean white. My white has blue all in it. And we have some turquoise. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to bring a little magenta into this. Okay. So on the rock, let me grab my duster. Where is it? Oh, I think my boy took it. No. There might be a little tiny bit in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a lot. <laughs> we shall see how this goes. So I just applied it and I'm going to hit it with the, okay, that was a lot, but, <laughs> but okay, it went far. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to blow this with my mouth. So excuse my blowing. This is going to be funny. Well, that didn't work either. So now she has an orange tear. <laughs> All right. Next will be the straw. I will go grab a straw. They're laughing at you. Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, you got comments now? <laughs> no, I just saw the faces. Oh, cool. Hey, I don't give up. All right. <laughs> Hey, I, I didn't know exactly how we were going to do that either. I will blow this baby into next year. <laughs> okay, I have a straw, and it has a curb, so I'm putting the curved in on this side so I don't have to get my face down there. <laughs> if you guys saw how long my lips are getting. <laughs> okay, watch this. <laughs> Shut up, Kate. <laughs> Okay, I'm putting some more water. <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing. Okay, I'm trying to blow this water. Oh, God. This is like the worst ever. Okay, I'm obviously not a blow artist. Don't fall out, Katie. It's okay. <laughs> How am I going to get this to go the way I want it? Deborah. <laughs> I can't get it to go in other than one straight line. Okay. What if I'm you did uh, like the toothbrush? 
drop situation. That's mm -hmm. way too bright. Is it? No, no, I'm exactly. talking to myself. Oh, okay. I think I'm just going to drag it out with my brush. Not too bad. Different says I didn't I didn't put a gray background in there, which I should have, huh? But, and then I'd have to go spray my rock and. Why? Because you're just wanting it to be splotchy. Well, on the gray background, it looks bright. Do you know what I mean? See? Almost milky. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it has but... some, uh. Acrylic or something in it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab the blue. That's why I always say um, paint with us because. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just we're we're experimenting. We are not not tutorialing right now. Mm -mm -mm. So it's using like a peach, huh? Seems like. See if I take some of this. Hell is a disaster right now. Gotta turn it over. My splatters are turning into a big paint party. Oh, forget it. Goodness.
<laughs> oh, nice. At least you're getting somewhere with it. All right, I'm getting the air back in there. Oh, yes. I don't care if it's all the way off my rock. It's cool. <laughs> it's off my rocker. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> what did we do uh-oh what i know we're bl we're blowing it sounds like we're having a party over here <laughs> it's blood we're blowing not sniffing <laughs> All right, so I've completely disastered it. Love it. Yes. <laughs> what are what am I missing? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying not to choke. Hold on. <laughs> So Jen says, what kind of party? And Diana says, so how much snow did you get today? And Jen says, what kind of party? And Bammy says, aggressive blowing. <laughs> Connie says, no snorting. Jen, Allison says, Jen, a party would blow. <laughs> she just threw it out there. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's bitten everywhere. <laughs> Oh, y'all. Yes, we're blowing. Definitely. Straw blow. Wow. <laughs> PG-13, <laughs> bring it back home. Diana got four inches. Or no, Phyllis got four inches in Clifton. Connie says she likes that, Katie. Diana says, oh my goodness, sorry, I accidentally opened the live, then got notifications for people saying hi. Oh, that was to everybody else. Well, there you go. Hi, Diana. Diana's here. <laughs> hi. I don't have comments, so I have no idea what's going on. When that dries, I'm going to be painting in the um, lashes. Right now, I'm adding the blue under the eye area. And I'm working on a gessoed surface, so it's not optimal, but it's 
better than you no know, just so for because i decoupage the image on So if you overwork gesso, sometimes it rolls like a paper. Cause it's like, this is like a cornstarch sort of thing. I don't remember the recipe, but if you guys are ever like, you don't have gesso and you want to make gesso, you can right out of your kitchen. It's cornstarch and glue and a little water. I know, right? Uh, I'm sorry. It's, Corn stout, you can use baby powder, talc, your, you want corn starch, so it could be non-talc baby powder or corn starch. Quit messing with it. Oh my gosh, Wanda, leave it alone. I don't know why I'm so zoomed in on this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm going to pull my camera up because on my camera, it shows a big old wide space. And on the computer, it shows I'm in a little tiny area. But I think it's delayed a lot. All right. So I'm going to now move on to the lower portion here of the peacock feather eye conjunction <laughs> not conjunctivitis <laughs> this portion here and I'll be using I don't know if I can get it into the shot probably not So I'm going to be pulling through some blues and turquoises. So these come way out to wispy, like way around the eye here. Oh my gosh, how do I get this in the shop?
I gotta wait for this top corner to dry a little bit before I can do all that. So I'm gonna have to kind of work down this way first. Yeah, that's what I did. <clears throat> oh man I want to do many more eyes after doing this. Ooh, I'm so glad you're having a good time. <laughs> many more eyes. I'm not so convinced over here on my side, but yours looks beautiful. Whatever, you have a beautiful flower going on. Well, what are you flower? talking about? I, I'm well, not painting a flower, I'm painting a peacock. <laughs> Dark feather, you know what I mean. I know, I'm kidding with you. I'm like, well, for a feather, it looks pretty good. <laughs> she called it flower. What's that, um, Bambi? You can call me flower if you want to. <laughs> okay. I know what you meant, honey. I was just kidding. Better watch out or I'll bring my hands tomorrow. <laughs> you need to be bringing those hands out right now. And sharing them with the world. The whole world needs those. They're saying you're off screen. Um, I just saw it in a message. Can you see me? I can barely see the top. In the, you're in the top left corner. It's so weird. Like I'm seeing I don't more know. plates. I don't know what to do here because to me, I'm perfectly centered, so I'm not sure where to go from here. Go to the right. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, I'm not. Oh, it's yeah. okay. I just happened to see that in a message. Yeah, I don't have any comments again, so I don't know. Weird. So, if y'all need something, Jennifer, just message it in the group messenger, and I'll see it on my phone. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> I'm glad you can see it. I'm not seeing any of that. Well, it's just because I have my phone set to see previews of messages. Oh. Yeah, I can't do that. If I do that, then I get so distracted, I can't talk. <laughs> well... I like to see what I'm going to be looking at when I open my messenger. <laughs> I want to, I want to hint. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> so since I didn't get a chance to tell y'all a while ago, I'm using the turquoise and neon for the turquoise part. And then I'm using the blue neon for all the blue part. And um, I'm going to end up um, using, I think I'm going to use a little bit of Macron uh, mint shots in there and probably some Macron porcelain blue. And I'm sorry we don't have Macron right now, but it's really one of my favorite things to use in the shimmer shots. I'll work on it. I didn't use shimmer shots for the longest time, and then I used the, <laughs> the Macrons, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I love them. I want to use them all the time. <laughs> so if you're a lucky one and have them, they work great with fine liners, just saying. All right, I gotta let all that dry before I can work on anything else. So I'm gonna go back here and work on the eyelashes. Am I in screen?
<laughs> she got some tarantulas. <laughs> oh, well. I like it that way. It's the way they wear them today. <laughs> yep, they like them big and fake. Although there's this big thing I've noticed on TikTok where they're arguing, some are arguing that theirs aren't fake and they show how to do it, you know, mm -hmm. how they're doing mm -hmm. it and getting it to make it look like that. And then the ones that, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Mm hmm What did you do on your, uh... oops, oh my God, on my whip? I was like, what the heck is that? Is she talking oh to us? Um, She's here. We, we changed one of our alarms, and it's Blake Shelton talking, and it just went off, and oh my gosh. Was Alexa I like, was like freaking oh my god, Blake's here. <laughs> yeah, he was like talking about wanting a drink. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I smudged it. <laughs> you smushed what? My look, look, that big black spot right there. It's okay. I don't, I don't see a big black spot. It might be off, off the screen. Look. Can you see the big oh, yeah. black spot? <laughs> yeah, it was off the screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Blah. Come on, hurry up and dry. Okay, I need to use some gold. I think all mine. No, oh, we threw away all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we clean. Katie came over and cleaned my room, and I was like, "Throw it away! Throw it away!" It he was, y'all. It was amazing. <laughs> she threw away so much stuff. It was good. Tammy is dimensional. I wouldn't recommend that for this, but I don't know where my other gold is, so. <laughs> uh, brush just hit the ground. Mm -mm. I don't, can you see what I'm painting? To me, I feel like I'm off camera. No, I can't see you at all. <sighs> Great. Okay. Now I can see you.
Okay. What okay. are you banging in there? Me? Water. Yeah. <laughs> oh. My water bowl. <laughs> My water bowl. I'm a dog. I'm getting a sloppy drink of water. Another drop of white. Come on, computer, give me some comments. Keep telling me I have no internet connection and I know better. <laughs> it's lying. I hope I'm on screen. I can't tell. Yes. Beautiful, Katie. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. See, it scooted me in again. I am not touching anything, and it zoomed me in again. <laughs> weird. So weird. It is weird. It's like an autofocus or something is out of whack. But it's not doing it on my phone over here. Like, I'm not seeing that at all on my phone. To me, yeah. I look like I'm way far away. The things I can see on my table it, through my phone are vast. But on the computer, it's nuts. Little tiny. Yep. Uh, let's see here. I think I want to do some splashy stuff. Yay. It didn't go quick. Now I'm complete. I I don't know. Now it's completely off again. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> it's definitely moving around because I didn't move anything and now I'm way down in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to move it again.
I think I'm going to move on to the builder, Joe. Okay. How far are you? Um, not too far out. I'm just finishing the this little center <clears throat> part of the of the um, peacock feather. Okay. I'm going to clean up my area and get ready. I'm working on a real little rock, y'all, so it's taking me longer. All right. Take it. Take your time. Did you pull white through yours, too? Yeah. Oh, oh man, that's what I'm missing. Something. My feather's too dark. Oh, well. Where did I put the builder down? Now I'm going to let that dry. I'm also going to grab my humongous light, check the batteries in it. <laughs> my cute, yeah, they're dead. I need to go change the batteries in my big spaceship light. <laughs> you need your big light to cure builder gel. Oh, okay. So, and you'll have to top coat it. So otherwise it'll be sticky. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some batteries. I'll be back. Well. Had to fix that little part. I had my eye off a little bit and it was bugging me. It looked like a square eye. Oh, God, there's two of them. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Why don't they just use two Ds instead of all these double A's? Lord. I was just kidding. I'll be right back to you. <laughs> Gotta go in search of some paints. Excuse me.
I just added some water to my sherbet kisses, which are going to be coming out soon. Woohoo! Let that sit a minute. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Man, it lights up like a spaceship. Ooh. Uh. Make sure you have alcohol in your area when you're working with UV products for cleaning up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alcohol. She got the server kisses out. Which I yeah. promise I promise they're coming soon. <laughs> yeah, I told them. <laughs> what, that I'm working on them? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I said they're coming soon. Yeah. They are. They're half done. They're half baked. They gotta cook a little longer. I gotta top them. And then give them their sugar coat, because they everybody needs sugar, right? <laughs> okay, so for this fun bit with the builder gel, a couple things. Uh, I'm going to mix some powders and then we're going to build up the eyeball crazy right yeah first off uh, you're going to want to have something to stir and scoop your stuff with so builder dare gel is pretty thick so you can use i would use this end of like your micro swab just to grab a little bit on the end of your micro swab and then roll it off onto your mixing palette and then dip that end into your mica powder i have no idea what you guys can see here oh my gosh you can't see nothing can you okay so roll it off onto your can you see it yeah. Roll up onto there and then dip that into your powder just to get enough to tint it. Okay. And then we're going to mix. And you never want to have more than about 10% of your builder gel be anything else a color because it will degrade it and it will never cure so how do we know how much that is just use a little bit <laughs> i don't know i mean you'll feel it when you've gone too far because it'll be like 
the texture will be completely off, you know. So if you feel like it's feeling dry and you add some more uh, gel to it. But yeah, so I'm just going to take the end of this stick here. Oh, sorry. Wipe that off on a paper towel with some alcohol. Grab one other dollop. It doesn't have to be as much as I'm getting here. We lost Katie. No. She has to come back. <laughs> Katie. Grab some color. Same thing. I'm so sad right now. Katie, come back. It will probably take her a while. If she does come back, sometimes we just call it. But I'll show you guys how to do this. Okay. Sorry, Katie. I don't know what happened. Um, I'll show you guys this part. Um, Katie, if you can get back on, I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> Come on back. If you can't, I get it. I, I'm not calling it a night. I'm saying sometimes we call it a night. Sorry, Lori. I didn't mean to mislead. Okay, so make sure you have some alcohol if you're going to use your liners. Uh, in your UV because you'll need to clean them. Okay, so to pick up some of your gel on your brush. I'm trying to bring it into focus, sorry. Anyway, and then you're going to pull that through in the places you want to highlight those colors. Yeah, I made way too much here. Oh, you guys. Okay, let's see this. Now we're going to be covering this with the gel so you don't have to really worry about it being tall or anything like that. Oh, I see Katie. Yay! Okay, she got back in. Oh my goodness. Yay! Hi! Hello! I hate it when that happens. <laughs> well, my... Uh, my whole screen just froze and I was like, okay. Oh, oh no. So I just showed him how to mix it, and then uh, I mixed way too much because <laughs> you just literally need like a drop of each, and then I just added it around the eyeball. Okay. And then clean your brush with alcohol really, really well because you have a ruined brush. And I'm just going to 
cover that and get rid of it. Okay, now we need to cure that, but move your builder gel out of the way. Cure that. So it usually takes a couple minutes under a regular light. So we got to go for a couple minutes here. And it's going to stay sticky because it's uh, got an inhibition coat on it. So you can get that off by using alcohol. But if you do that, you will take off your paint. So I don't recommend it on your artwork unless you need to. Then you're going to do it with a micro swab and dab at each little tiny area that you put it on with alcohol. But we're gonna skip that part. We're gonna go back in on top with some more builder gel. And, and this time we're gonna use a disposable brush. And you could have totally used a disposable brush for the other part. It's just a little thicker than my liner brush, so. Okay, I'm gonna grab a dollop here. And I think we're going to do the whole eyeball part, but I'm going to start in the middle and work my way around because we want that to be the biggest, right? Now, you don't want this to be so super tall that it'll never cure. So, I don't, am I on screen? Can you see me? Yeah. Good. Okay. You can do this with regular top coat or UV resin if you don't have builder gel. The top coat will give it a glossy look. The builder gel will give it the depth. The height. <laughs> Whatever the word is. And it self levels if you give it a minute. So when you get it on there, just give it a second to kind of self level before you hit it with any light. Now, if you want just the eye to be glossy, you can use like a matte top coat and do the seal the rest of your rock with that. Or for me, I'm going to seal the rest of my rock with top coat and then this will just be bumped out. You know what I mean? Or what you could have done is sprayed first with a matte spray, which would be smart. I might do that. I'll cover this up and then spray my rock with matte. That would be good, huh? Then we'll just have the glossy eye. Looks like a hairy eye. I kind of stop. I don't need no more. Stop doing it. <laughs> All right. Can you see there? That's kind of. It'll self-level. You want to shoot it with some heat just a bit. 
Where did we put that? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> All right, some heat. Get the bubbles out. Help itself level. Sorry. All right, it's nice and glossy now. See that? Okay, I'm going to tear. Oh, it looks like she's going to cry. Just tearing up. Mm. <laughs> Here we come with the spaceship. Let me see if I can make comments appear. Hey, I did magic. I have, have Katie's back. <laughs> okay. I wish I knew how to make comments appear in my end. I just touched the screen, touched the square boxes, and they popped up. No. <laughs> I don't know. It was magic tonight. <laughs> magic. Okay. Let's see. Nice and sticky. <laughs> don't touch it. It'll have a little mark on it. Okay. If you're not going to top coat it, which I'm going to top coat it, you'll need to remove that inhibition layer. Just can't tell if this is cooked or not. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I'm going to get my top coat. And this is Gelixer. It's just in a different bottle. And I'm going to get a new brush for this one. Okay. And top coat is a thinner UV gel. It's high gloss. And top coat will, I don't know how to say it. it, it'll bubble out the sides if you get it too thick. So don't put too, too much on there. I have a habit of doing that, so I'll probably be trying to scoop some off of here. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm going all the way around because <clears throat> I don't want any sticky bits. And this time I'm going to do the waterline in her eye in the corner.
Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and cure the top coat on my um, tablet too thing. There's some bits of something in my top coat. No. Oh well, she's gonna have some bits of something. Anyways, I'm gonna cure this over here too so that it doesn't get all over me. Show you what I mean about top coat wanting to bubble out if you get too much. Can you see right here on top of this flat glossy surface? Uh -huh. See the bubble right there? Yeah. See that bubble? Yeah, it just like it makes a hole. It's like a pimple. <laughs> it just pops right out of itself if you get too much on there. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, yeah, nice and good. Yay! So now you could either mat. Uh, I don't know if I would mat medium it because that is water based and it will move watercolor around. Um, if you wanted the matte look with gloss, you can do that first spray and then do this stuff. <laughs> like, that's the way you should do it. Or if you did like me, because you were following along and I'm a ding-dong, um, you can cover this up with, a, you can cut out a stencil, just the shape of the eye right there, and then spray your rock and it'll be sealed. That's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do that on here. Also, I really wish this spot wasn't here, but it is there. So I'm going to work with it and put my signature down there. So I'm going to put like a full of paint, a blue on top of it too, make it look intentional like a e, like a e, you know what that looks yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> and then when it's dry, I'm going to sign it right there. <laughs> but I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see this eye. Ready? Go down a little. Cool. Am I in shot? Go up just a bit. There you go, right there. Pretty awesome. It's a cool looking eyeball. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, guys. I'm digging yours, Miss Katie, all that detail and the highlights. I love it so much. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I love your um, lashes, too. I got behind on the, the builder gel part, so I'm just kind of... No worries. Are you going to do um, it or skip that part? No, oh, I, I really want to do it, but maybe I'll just bring it over tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you could do it here. Like, like, one to help. <laughs> yeah, then you could use the our builder gel. That eye is looking at me, Wanda. It's freaking me out. <laughs> oh, it is. Huh? Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> What are you doing, Katie? Huh? What are you doing? Hi. Hi. How you do? I'm going to get your eyeball. <laughs> oh, get it with your hand. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> oh my god do you need a hand anybody does anybody need a hand <laughs> so gross <laughs> you guys you gotta see this hand okay show them how big the hand is <laughs> i am no we can't see how big it is i mean we can't see what it's attached to show them in can <laughs> It looks like an arm. <laughs> it's her finger. <laughs> I've had so much fun with oh these my hands, God, man. It's a finger puppet. I know. It's like the creepiest thing ever. She comes over, puts it on my shoulder. I was like, what the hell is that? I was caressing Jeremy's beard with it last night. With it. Oh, God, you guys. Don't tell me that. <laughs> And he just laughs. He thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> Wanda, look. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm seven. That is so cool. I didn't know you had rights and lefts. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I take, I've take. i taken so many pictures with these hands. Oh, my God. Look, right now, it looks like your knees. Put your hands back out there with your knuckles bent like that. It looks like you're sitting on your knees with, with your hands holding onto the rock. Like, do your hands like this with the hands on them. <laughs> That's funny. When That's I was funny. leaving Wanda's the other day, I was like, wait, there's one more thing I need to do. Let's play patty cake. <laughs> <laughs> and she got pretty Ricky for straight face. Mm -mm. Nope. No, it's just some things in life aren't right. <laughs> I have gotten so many miles out of those hands. Oh my gosh. It best <laughs> gift I ever got. I concur. She's had a lot of, she's been very handsy. Wanda was, Wanda was in the store with me where I was putting little hands on everything. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny. Katie's frog. What about Katie's frog sitting? Yeah, what? It, it looks like Katie was a frog sitting when you had your knuckles bent and your hands down. We could see your two knuckles, what? your fingers and the hands, but it looked like arms sitting in between your your knees. So you look like a frog. You know what I mean? It was so funny. That is funny. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> Are you gonna paint the nails? <laughs> We're doing patty cake again. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, yes. Where did it go? That's it. See? I always bring out the good stuff. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is wave ocean spray i'm ocean all wave spray. ocean spray <laughs> and then this one is the new hyacinth riesling <laughs> i don't have that one in this one here i don't know if i should Do use I? this one it's probably too opaque no um you might actually I felt like it needed some bling. Yeah. yeah. This one is a hybrid, so it has the, I like, I like that word hybrid. It has the um, fairy tinsel and the chunky glitter in it. And if you don't have it, you need to get it. <laughs> Excuse me.
e a BBB. Let me bring this in so you guys can see. Maybe it's in those new bottles you gave me. I wish that no, there was more. So. I don't think I have it, Wanda. Okay. But that's okay. Just I love this one. <laughs> Man, I love the tinsel too. It's just like a pow. Got to watch it on watercolor, though, because it will move it if it's not sealed. It'll reactivate it, and you, so you got to work quick. Perfectly what it needed. Oh my gosh. Good call. Sometimes I forget I make this stuff. I know, ridiculous, right? Oh, Actually, I'm... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm liking that it's re reactivating the watercolor a little bit. It's giving me a fuller effect, and I'm digging it. I am just, I just love all this glitter. I mean, I've always been into glitter and stuff like that, but this stuff is like a whole new level. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Yep, you can't see it that well online, but um, I'll be taking pictures and we'll definitely share that with you. I think it just got stuff all over me. <clears throat> So I did an alcohol painting earlier today on my hour break. <laughs> an alcohol painting. I mean a silk painting, Lord. <laughs> Anyways, I want to show it, but I'm going to wait until you're finished, girl. Uh, no rush, oh, no. though. I'm going to do my signature. I'm going to do my signature, and then I'll show the painting. So stick around for a minute so I can show you. I'm not um, doing these live yet because I am still definitely learning and I don't want to even insinuate that I'm trying to teach that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I will show it in fast forward in, in a speed uh, painting because it's a really cool process to watch unfold, you know. Yeah. There. See? Intentional signature. Not bad. With my cool pen. <laughs> my angry bunny. <laughs> kind of looks like he's flipping people off, huh? With his ear. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back.
I'm popping in some baby black eyes in this dark eyelash. Just to give that black a little sparkle. Yeah, I did a little brush trick there. Okay, guys. So, I don't know if you saw the original one I did, but I ruined it. So, I'm not even going to show that one because <laughs> I tried to rinse it and I lost the dye. So, let's move this out of the way. This was my second one. And it looks terrible, too. But it says Hurdle. Isn't it cute? And then, my third one was this one. Which I'm super duper proud of. And then the yeah. other one I did today. Look at the details on the flowers. See the like dots? And then on the leaves, there's like a little striation. Yeah. It was so cool. And then on the flower in the middle, that was with salt. So cool. So, so yeah, this one was my second one. Or my, th this was my first on my own all the way. Like I did all these outlines by myself and the colors and all of this whole thing by myself. And then this one today, <clears throat> other than a couple of problems with my Gouda, which is Gouda, which is the lines. It's called Gouda lines. Um, I love this so much. <laughs> Am I in screen? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it even more now that I'm looking at it again. Anyways, I have no idea if you guys are still here, if we're still on. <laughs> so. I gotta sign mine real quick. Oh, Katie, it's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. My lefty. I love your signature too. All right, it's gonna have to dry, but yes, I don't have the, yes, build, yes, I don't have all the builder on it yet, but I love it. Love, 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 love it. That's gorgeous. <gasps> this was a good one. Good pick. Good choice. Right on. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All righty. Thank, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and painting. I see a peacock. And um, I don't have any announcements that we will be back or I'll be back live on Monday on YouTube at 730 p.m. Central. And uh, I don't have nothing picked out yet. So if you have any requests, let me know if. Um, yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I forgot I was on Facebook. I was going to say, meet us over on Facebook at our group, yeah. and we're in our group. So <laughs> just That's never mind. Funny. Just ignore me. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Happy late Valentine's Day. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you in the group. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.